Welcome to the Azure AI video series. In this video, you will learn about the new large language model powered summarization in Azure AI language service. Azure AI is the backbone of Copilot and in every key Microsoft product. Today, Azure AI brings a one-stop shop for you to expedite app building. In there, you have pre-trained models that fulfill your needs right away. Customization that allows you to fine tune on top of pre-trained and generative models for your specific needs, as well as large language models that power you to build what was previously impossible. Summarization is one such capability case, a fine-tuned large language model targeted for summarization use cases that you will see in a minute. Summarization in Azure AI is a fine-tuned large language model that offers a fast, trustworthy, and cost-effective way to condense content. We classify summarization into two main categories based on input genre, documents, and conversations. With our APIs, you have access to a fine-tuned, pre-prompt engineered AI models, including GPT and other large language models. This frees customers from the complexities of model building. No concern about prompt tuning, maintenance, and model upgrades. These powerful models is just a simple API callaway. However, if you wish to retrain the model using your own data, we offer a user-friendly, interactive customization process that anyone can use. The summarization capability is now available in containers both connected and disconnected, in addition to our cloud offering. This offers you the flexibility that you need to apply our service for your specific needs. I will now walk through a quick demo of the new summarization capabilities. I will be using the REST API. If you wish to code in your preferred programming language, you can download the SDK following our documentation. First you need to provide your API endpoint and key. Additionally, you need to specify the API version. In general, we recommend using our GA version for your production. Today's session, we will be focusing on the new capabilities, which are in preview. So I specify the AI version as 2023, 11, 15 preview. Now let's delve into document summarization. First, let us see what we can get with the default settings. I've selected a recent news article from Microsoft Price release about Microsoft merging Activision Blizzard. This summary condenses the entire article and summarizes key information out of it. Besides the summary itself, you can receive many useful response information in JSON format, which will help you streamline your automation workflow. In this new release, we introduce a descriptive way for you to specify your desired summary length for abstractive summarization. We offer three options, short, medium, and long. Understanding that customers often have varying interests and preferences we've enabled query-focused summarization. This feature tailors summary generation to focus on a specific topic with the same input content by specifying a query like settlement date. We get a different summary than the default one. The summary is now focused on settlement date in this deal. Extractive summarization also supports summarizing on a specific focus. Extractive summarization will preserve the original awarding and directly extract the relevant sentences. Now let's see the new capabilities for a conversation summarization. We introduce two new aspects, mainly recap and follow-up tasks in addition to our existing capabilities like narrative, chapter title, 
issue, and resolution. The recap aspect condenses a lengthy meeting or conversation into a concise one-paragraph summary to offer a quick overview. And the follow-up tasks aspects summarize action items and tasks that emerge during a meeting. I will demonstrate the two new aspects in two scenarios, a call center solution and a long meeting recording. This is a call center case about a customer issuing a return. The recap summarization gives a quick short descriptive report about this customer case. Then let's move on to a long meeting, which lasts about three minutes and spans more than 4,000 words. We'll generate a recap to quickly grasp the meeting's core content, then divide it into chapters. After that, we will identify the call to actions established during the meeting and provide a detailed narrative of the entire meeting, allowing you to gain a deeper insights without the need to listen the entire recording. You can also try the same functions in Language Studio without a need of writing any code. To get started with summarization, check it out in the Language Studio at aka.ms slash summarization dash tryout or visited our documentation at aka.ms slash summarization dash docs. And finally, to learn more about Azure AI language, please visit aka.ms slash azure dash language.